This is the second video segment that I'm doing with uh, uh, the concept of welding uh, of an assembly in CATIA which is modeled with shell elements. However, right now I want to talk about a problem that is not really a welding problem because if you if you actually look at the the toolbars and icons that are available, see there is the welding connection properties that we already discussed in the first video segment. This one, on the other hand, it looks like two sheets, you know, kind of being attached to each other, but it doesn't even say welding. Okay, so I want to show you how this thing works and what are the things to watch out. I just I don't want you to confuse this with the welding facility in uh, in Katia. Okay, so let me go ahead and create this geometry, same dimensions that I had. Uh, this way it's 100, 200, and uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and start with a, a, a product file because I'm doing this thing as an assembly. So file, new, product. Okay, so let's insert the left piece, insert insert new part in there. I'm going to call it right click uh, properties left. Okay, and left. All right, let's go ahead and make it. So on that vertical plane, I will sketch a line that is a hundred uh, millimeter long, millimeter long. Okay, exit and extrude it because we're doing it a shell problem. In the other direction, let's make it uh, uh, 100. Okay, or uh, 200. Okay, good. Now uh, let's make another one. So insert, insert, new part, and call this thing the right one. Okay, right. <coughs> let's make it. Actually, we already have a line here, so we take this thing and extrude it to the right by uh, the same line that I used before, and I'm going to go to 100. Okay, let me change the color of this. Uh, something like that. Okay, fine. Now, uh, we make everything out of steel. So both parts are made out of steel here. Okay, very good. And uh, this is it. As far as the geometry is concerned, that's all we need to do. So let's save this thing. Uh, file, save management, save as. We're going to make a folder here. So uh, uh, point analysis uh, let me see the name of that uh, uh, it's called point uh, point analysis support point analysis support point analysis support oh, that's okay All right. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to go to gener uh, generative structure analysis. We're going to mesh both sides. Let me change the rendering here. All right, so shell mesh. 
this side. Why don't I make it five? Okay, and uh, also uh, this this is very fine, but that's okay. This one, I'll make it uh, also five. We can look at the mesh. So by the way, if you want to change the color of these, color of these, you go just go there and uh, change the properties from here. Okay, good. All right, so let's deactivate the mesh. This is an overkill, but that's okay. Uh, deactivate. All right, so uh, to give it a thickness. So four millimeter here. Four millimeter thickness there. Let's clamp this in. Uh, clamp this in. And put 100 pounds, 100 Newton on this edge. In the direction Z, 100 Newton. And you can see that uh, it's right here. You can see that right there. Okay, now, first of all, if I'm going to run this thing, it's going to fall apart because uh, these two don't know that they're next to each other. Okay, so we need a connection. Now, the way I'm going to do this connection, first of all, let me do the following. Let me hide this, uh, let me hide this line, this sketch. Remember, I drew a line. I'm going to hide it so that the line is not there. Okay, now, this is the icon that you want to test. So we click on it. It says point-to-point -point analysis connection. Okay, look at what it's asking. First component. So what it's ask, expecting me to do is to go and select these corner points. Let me hide this. First component. So this point and that point. And then it says mesh part. Okay, so this, these points that I pick belong to that meshed part, this one, this one. And then it says second component. So it's expecting me to go and, and select the corners of this part. Okay, just to make it easier so that we can see it better. I'm gonna hide this. So this point and that point. And the mesh part is, of course, is the guy on the right. So we created this kind of a connection, which is called point-to-point -point analysis connection. Now, we already did this, so now we have to define the, the nature of this connection. So go over here. Remember, these are welding. This is not for welding. You click on it. There's two icons there. The first one, which is actually on the screen right here, is what we want. In other words, it says uh, node to node connection property. You click on it and you go and select this fellow right there, the, the, the connection that you created. For now, I'm going to make it rigid. I want to show you a few things about this. For now, I'm going to make it rigid. Okay. And then we say, uh, okay. Let's get this other guy. And we're going to run it. So I did not create any welding connections. Uh, there. And it's going to run. So it's going to deflect like that. Uh, let me animate it for you to, to convince you that actually this is moving. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm going to change the scale here. Default scale, fine. Now, uh, deflection. Not clamp. Uh, there you are. We, we can, these are the arrows. Because of so many elements, these, these are very close to each other. Okay, so uh, you can change the rendering here. Uh, 
average ISO with the correct rendering. It looks okay. Now let's look at the stress. Now, of course, these numbers, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not paying attention to the dimension, numbers, thickness, and things like that. I just want to show you the process behind this. So if you plot the stress, you will see that actually, because of what we did here, these two rigid points, these points being rigidly connected to each other, you have a gigantic stress there, which uh, really uh, is, uh, I mean, you may think that it's not realistic, but well, it depends. I mean, how did you connect those points together? That's 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 the thing. So uh, uh, if you want to if you want to bypass these, bypass meaning that don't show it to me, then you can create a connect uh, a group here and just show the stuff on that. So let me actually do that. There's a few subtle issues that I have to show you here. Okay, so uh, let me see now. Deactivate this. Okay, so let's create a group How about making a, a surface group. Okay, so I'm going to move this. So I'm going to take it out, out of that zone right there. And then we say okay. And now activate the Monisa stress and double click on it and ask it to show you only the stuff that is in this in, in the surface group that, it, that we created. It's going to it's going to avoid those uh, stresses. Now notice that here there are these gigantic stresses which is due to these but uh, if you go here and you can see that the stresses are going to reveal itself at this at this end. Okay now there's one more thing I want to show you here let me deactivate this let me show you the deformation one more time, right here. Now, if you zoom in close enough to this area, in other words, let's zoom in, uh, and change the scale uh, to maybe 50 times. So I'll make it uh, 10 times bigger, maybe 50 times bigger. There. I'm going to show you something here at the scene. You see? There's actually a gap. Look. So all it did is to make sure that these two points move together as rigid, you know, points. But in between, uh, that a gap can develop. Okay. So this may or may not be acceptable to the problem that you're doing. Okay. Uh, 